Hello everyone and welcome to my PlayStation 3 collection. Now I'm going to go through all of my games. Um, if I haven't played them, I'm just going to sort of uh, name the game. Uh, if I have played them, I'll just give you a little bit of insight on what I think of the game. So let's get started. Uh, Resistance Fall of Man. Resistance 2. Resistance 3. Chronicles of Reddick Assault and Dark Athena. Uh, next up we have Binary Domain. This is one I have played and um, I was really surprised by it because um, when I first saw it it just looked like a generic shooter. And um, when I played it through it it's, it was so much more than that. It was, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it involves a lot of shooting, um, uh, te team commands and stuff like that. But um, it's a really engaging uh, story, very like good set of characters, and um, yeah, it's very entertaining. It's uh, from the same people who developed the Yakuza series, and uh, Yakuza is one of my favorite games of all time. So uh, yeah, very very surprisingly <laughs> good game, and uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, next up, we have Dark Darksiders. Um, this was a game that I played a demo of on my 360 initially and um, I wasn't really that impressed but um, with Darksiders 2 uh, releasing uh, fairly soon I decided to uh, pick this up for the PS3 and just to give it a go and um, yeah, it's not bad, it's not the greatest game in the world, it sort of rips off a lot of other games like uh, God of War and Zelda and such but um, it's it's still decent for what it is. I feel the the uh, sequel's a lot better though. Have a uh, kill zone two. Uh, Twisted Metal. Now I know I've played a Twisted Metal before, but I've heard um, a lot of good things from friends and such. And um, yeah, I play it. It's not. It's 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 good. It's good. It's um, the design. Some of the design choices of the game is a little bit. Um, off for me, I felt that the um, the AI and the sort of the sort of checkpoints and things like that were a little bit unfair in places, but um, yeah, it's still an entertaining game. Next up, we have uh, Infamous. This is a game I've most recently been playing, and um, yeah, it's really really good. Um, if you've never played this thing, uh, Crackdown or Prototype, and um, it's pretty much that style of the game. You, it's it's quite unique. It's a first-person shooter, but with no guns. You sort of shoot out electrical bolts. You have like certain powers and such uh, using electricity, and um, yeah, it's really entertaining. Uh, Infamous Two. Obviously, I haven't played that yet because I'm playing the first one. Uh, lollipop chainsaw. I managed to play a little bit of this. It's um, it's not bad. It's not amazing, but um, any any game created by Super Fifty One is um, worth checking out in my book. I absolutely loved um, Shadows of the Damned. I've actually got that on my three sixty. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty entertaining. It's sort of, <laughs> it's sort of like similar to Bayonet. It sort of um, uh, revels in like it's almost gratuitiveness in a way, but um, yeah, for what it is, it's, you know, it's entertaining. You know, that's what games should be, they should be fun and entertaining. Next we have um, Metal Gear Solid 4. I played all the other Metal Gear Solid, so uh, yeah, I'll eventually get the to that one. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Um, obviously Uncharted's the sort of big um, franchise for PlayStation 3 so far. And um, yeah, yeah, good game. Um, not my favourite in the series, I felt like near the end of the game it got ridiculously hard, they were just like throwing enemies at you just for for the heck of it and um but other than that, you know, it's it's solid, it's a really fantastic graphics, gameplay, dialogue, music, you know, the whole package really. Um Uncharted Two, Among Thieves. This is this is actually my favourite. I felt this was they took all the things that weren't perfect in the first game and just refined them and made this game perfect. And um, 
yeah, there's nothing more I can really say about it. It's just these sort of perfect, like length, the perfect balance, you know, ev everything that you could say is it's just one of those games that if if you're thinking about getting a PS3, um, definitely get the whole Light Uncharted series, but in particular the second one, because that one's fantastic. Uncharted 3. Uh, this is the special edition. Uh, Uncharted 3 takes exception. Um, I'll just uh, open this up for you. Uh, it's basically like a um, sort of special like case of um, like pictures and sort of history of the uh, first two games basically. And right here is the actual place where the discs should go. Um, I, I put my disc in like these sort of special wallets, so uh, that's <laughs> that's why you don't see it. Um, but yeah, you got like the sort of basic instruction booklet and um, sort of special like map and such, and sort of basically goes through like the profiles of each character of the series. Next up we have Dead Rising 2. This this was a game that I had on the 360 pretty much when it came out and um, I played this game to absolute death. Um, I completed it like at least four or five different occasions just um, doing certain run throughs like one run through getting all the survivors then sort of going for the main story, you know, doing all this sort of side stuff. You know, like in terms of content, this is this game is just fantastic. The only reason I don't have this on the 360 is because I got the um uh, um off the record, that's the <laughs> Dead Rising 2 off the record on the 360. Um basically cuz it's pretty much the same game but uh, a little a little bit extra added and I um I sold the 360 version of this game, and I, I just wanted to sort of get it back and just sort of play it on my PS3, you know, now and again. Next up, we have Motorstorm, God of War 3. I played the first God of War, and uh, barring some sh idiotic, um, uh, sort of spiked wall of bullshit, and like. Um, I believe it's like the sort of hell level. Um, other than that, um, it was pretty much a perfect like action game. Um, I haven't played the second one as of yet, but I'm sort of I'll, I'll sort of work on that eventually and go to God of War three. Uh, the slide tri trilogy. Um, I played the third one in the series mainly because I got into the ser series fairly late and um, yeah I absolutely loved it and people say that the first and second one are great as well so I thought I'd um, pick up the trilogy when I heard it is being released so uh, yeah. Uh, Vanquish, um, this was number one I had on the 360 um, fantastic game just um, sort of similar to like stuff like Gears of War but um, just Insanely fast-paced. Um, it's a very, very short game as well, unfortunately. But um, for what for what you do play, this game is just absolutely superb. Um, and like, you can power slide on on rocket boots. You know what? What more is there to say about like a game like that? If that if that doesn't sell sell you the game, I don't know what will. Uh, next up, we have uh, L.A. Noir. Uh, yet another game I had had on the three sixty. Um, the main reason I bought this one was because the game is on one disc, whereas on the 360 it's on free. So um, yeah, I thought I'd pick this up again for fairly cheap. Um, yeah, very good like um, mystery sort of um, like uh, adventure game. Um, there's not not a lot of shooting, which is fine, you know, because not not every game is about like shooting people. But um, yeah, I love the sort of the different ways you complete each case and um, although the one issue I have with it is that no matter how you complete the case 
more often than not, it sort of doesn't. There's no like consequence to like playing it badly. So uh, yeah, that's the, my one little gripe. But other than that, it's a fantastic game. Yakuza Three, Yakuza Four. I have played Yakuza One, and that is one one of my greatest games of all time. Uh, I'm playing through the second one right now. Uh, not quite as good as the first one, but um, it's it's still good. It's still decent. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Cracking Time. I play uh, Ratchet one to three, and I love all those games equally. Uh, Little Big Planet. Enslaved, uh, yet another one I had on the PS3, or well, 360 even. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a decent game. Um, rips off a lot from uh, Ico, which is my personal favourite game ever. Um, but that's not a bad thing, you know, if you're going to borrow, <laughs> if you're going to steal ideas, why not steal from the best? Um, basically, you sort of uh, work as a team with uh, Monkey, uh, this character, and Trip, this character. Um, you have to sort of work together to um, basically survive, basically. And um, yeah, it's a fantastic adventure game. A little bit repetitive in places, but it's yeah, it's, it's decent. We have uh, folklore, and last but not least, probably my favourite game on the PS3 right now, Heavy Rain. Uh, absolutely superb game. I know some people don't really define it as a game, but um, I, I think if if you're entertained and you're having fun playing a game, then it's I, I think it's unfair to sort of def define things as like not being a game or whatever. But um, yeah, as an interactive experience, let's just say this is like one of the finest games you will play. And um, it's it's funny actually with this game, but um, I when I bought it, I actually ended up getting the Moo edition, like like you see the original case here. Um, and originally I was going to take it back, but then I realised that with the Moo this the Moo edition, the um, the tax service still is free. So um, I said, you know, I'll, I'll let this one go. You know, usually I sort of want to have like the proper version of each game, like complete as it is case instruction with like this you know whatever but i was willing to let it go because you know for that nice for me and finally we're going to go just go through all the uh games i've just mentioned There we are, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and um, I hope to uh, provide you another collection video very soon. Thanks a lot.